Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will control multiple relays with Google Assistant using the Arduino IoT Cloud and ESP32. Here I have used free plan and as you can see, you can make the circuit without using any PCB. During the video, I will share the circuit, source code and all other required details. So after watching the complete video, anyone can make it. But before going to the details, let me give you a quick demo. First, I will control this light with Google Assistant. Turn on all the lights. Sure, turning on four lights. We can also get the temperature reading from this DST11 sensor. What is the temperature reading from Google Home? The temperature is currently 34.2 degrees. And we can also go to Google Home app. Tap here to see the temperature reading 34.2 degrees Celsius and you can also control this light from the Google Home app here you can see now let me go to the Arduino IoT cloud app you can download this app from the Google Play Store or App Store and you can also control the lights from this app here you can see and we can monitor the temperature here now let me control the lights from the higher remote and we can monitor the real-time feedback here if there is no internet then you can control it with the IR remote and manual switch and again we can monitor the real-time feedback and if it is connected with the internet the blue LED will turn on and you can control the lights from the Arduino IoT Cloud, Google Assistant or Google Home. So this is a very useful project and you can easily make it after watching the complete video so without any further delay let's get started. To make the circuit you just need an ESP32 relay module, DST11 sensor, IR receiver and lag switches. Then connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. The circuit is very simple. I have connected the switches across the GPIO pins and the ground. And here I have used active low relay module. So the relay will turn on for the low signal in the control pin. Now although I have shown you, you can make the circuit without using any PCB but just to make the circuit compact and to avoid any loose connection i have designed this pcb for this project you can download the gaba file from the video description and order it from the jlc pcb from jlc pcb you can order different type of pcbs at very affordable price here you can see they also provide a lot of services and recently they have launched multicolor seal screen pcb after designing the PCB, you just have to upload a picture for your seal screen in JPG or PNG format, then place the order from the JLC PCB. And here you can see this is how it looks. And they also have free via impact service. I will request you to see this clip why it is very important for the complex PCBs. If we directly place the VIA directly on the pad, there's no need for additional trace before VIA. But this can lead to solder wicking away through the hole during soldering, causing defects or cold solder joints. VIA in-pad technology addresses these issues. We still place the VIA on the pad, but then fill it with resin and plate it with copper. The surface shows almost no trace of this and soldering is as reliable as with a regular pad. So I always recommend you to use JLC PCB for any kind of PCBs for your next electronics project. Now let me log in to Arduino Cloud account. You can get the URL from the video description. Then click on get started for free. I'm using their free plan. Now if you don't have any account, click on create your account. I already have an account, so let me log in. If you are new to this platform, you may get pop-up to install Arduino Create Agent. You can install that. I already have it in my laptop. Here you can see. Now click on Create New, then select Thing. Let me rename the thing. You can give any name. After that, I will scroll down. Then under the Smart Home Integration, I will select Google Home. If you want to control device with Alexa, select Alexa. But here I will use Google Home. Then you have to associate a device. So I will click on select device. Then click on set up new device. Click on third party device. Select ESP32. Then enter the model name. Here I am using do it ESP32 dev kit. Click on continue. Then you have to give a name to this device. 
you can give any other name click on next now for each device you will get an device id and secret key you have to save this in a secure place afterwards you will not get the secret key for that device so let me download it in a pdf so this is my device id and secret key then i will check this box i saved my device id and secret key then click on continue done now let me configure the network click on configure enter wi-fi name wi-fi password then the secret key for that device so i will just copy it from the pdf then paste it here then click on save now we will add cloud variable here i will control 4 relay and 1 dst sensor so i will add total 5 variable so let me click on add then enter the name for the first variable say light one you can give any other name then click here here i want google compatible variable so let me select the google then here i will select like then i will click on add variable now to add second variable again i will click on add give a name for the second variable from the drop down i will filter it with google compatible then select the light then add variable in a similar way you have to create another two variable to control four relay now i will add the variable for the dhc sensor again i will click on add give the name temperature then select the variable type for the google only scroll down then select temperature sensor then here i will select read only then select periodically and here i want to update the reading after every 8 seconds so here i have entered 8 seconds then click on add variable so our things is ready if i go to sketch section you will find a code automatically generated as per the variable added and other input parameter if you want you can update this code here and directly upload it to esp32 but it will take a lot of time so i will recommend you to download the code from the video description then upload it using adreno ide so let me go to setup now i have to create a dashboard so click here click on dashboard then click on create dashboard give a name then make sure it is under edit mode click on add select switch you can give any name i am giving switch one link the variable so here i am selecting light one which is the first variable created for the first relay then click on link variable then click on done in a similar way you have to add another three variable for next three relay now for the temperature sensor i will select the gauge widget then here i will enter the temperature link the variable and here you can enter the minimum and maximum in maximum let me enter 50 degree celsius and click on done so our dashboard is ready let me exit from the edit mode now let me go to the Arduino sketch which i have created for this project so this is the code for this project you can download it from the video description let me open it with Arduino IDE now for this project you have to install all these libraries and along these libraries you have to install all the dependency now here you can see if i try to install the Arduino cloud it is asking me to install all other dependency please click install all to install all the dependency related to that library after installing all the library i have to enter this parameter just go to the pdf which you have downloaded so this is the device id i'm pasting it here then enter the wi-fi name and password then enter the secret key again go to pdf copy the secret key for the device then paste it here here you can see the gpio details for the sensor then for the relay and switches and this is the wi-fi indicator here i have used gpio2 then the dst11 sensor type then you have to scroll down and here you can see these are the device name light1 light2 here you can see you have given the name light1 light2 light3 like that so if you want to change the name you have to accordingly update here both for the device name related callback function these are the callback function for the device we have added then if you want to control the relay using ir remote then you have to change the hex code according to the ir remote you are going to use 
so these are the hex code here i will control four relay so here i need four hex code and if you are not using any ir remote then keep it as it is after doing these changes you can directly upload this code to esp32 now i will go to tools select the board do it esp32 dev kit v1 then select the proper port then hit the upload button after programming here you can see the blue led is glowing so it is connected with the arduino cloud so let me open the Arduino IoT Cloud app. You can download it from the Google Play Store or App Store. Then let me open our dashboard, ESP32 Relay. And here you can monitor the real-time temperature from the DST11 sensor. Now let me try to control the relay from this app. So here you can see you can able to control all the relay. And let me try to control it from the switch and you can monitor the real-time feedback here so now let me try to connect google home with this Arduino IoT cloud so let me go to google home app let me open it then i will tap on device then tap on add then select works with google here i will search Arduino tap on the Arduino tap on continue it may ask to log in my Arduino IoT Cloud account. So I will enter the user ID and password for the Arduino IoT Cloud. Now I will go back to our dashboard. Refresh the dashboard. And here you can see all the four devices. And we can also monitor the temperature which is 32. Now let me try to control the appliances from the Google Home. And here you can see I can able to control all the appliances from the app. Now let me control the appliances from the manual switch then refresh the google home and we can monitor the real time feedback. So this is a very useful project if there is no wifi still you can control it with the manual switches. If you find this project helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching have a great day.